He had my attention. And he said, Jesus Christ is God's Lamb. And he died and he shed his blood that whosoever will could have a new start, could be forgiven, could start over. That morning, as I stood to try to leave the building, I thought, I don't want anybody to see me cry. I've not cried since I was nine years old. I'm not afraid of any living thing on this earth and no one's going to see me cry. But I turned to leave, but I started down the aisle toward the front of that building. And my prayer was this. I didn't know the sinner's prayer. I didn't know the Roman road of salvation. But my prayer was this. God, if you exist, and Jesus, if you are God's Lamb, please, please kill me or cure me. I don't want to live anymore. I'm not a husband. I'm not a father. I'm no good. And at that instant, it was like the darkness and the blackness left my life. And the tears began to flow. And for the first time since I was nine years old, the tears did run. And the guilt left my life. And the violence and the anger and the hatred left my life. And Jesus Christ became Lord and Savior of my life that morning. And since that time, I didn't know what would happen. But God healed my mind, my memory. The drug addiction, the alcoholism was instantaneously gone, delivered. And from that moment, I knew that I had to tell the story of what had happened to me. My life was only spared to tell others about the place that I had seen and the hope of Jesus Christ to save mankind from this terrible fate.